the southern border, Republicans are helping to negotiate a bipartisan Senate deal. Legislation, though, to address the crisis might have to wait until next year. That's because Donald Trump is urging his party to stop. Amy Kiley has details. I hope no one is, is trying to uh, take this away for campaign purposes. Some Republicans backing a Senate border deal are expressing frustration. That's after former President Donald Trump urged his party to reject it. I don't doubt that he wants a perfect deal. So do I on it. But we've got to be able to figure out how to be able to do something right now. Trump says passage would let Democrats share the political win. I just reject the idea that we should reserve a, a, a crisis for a better time to solve it. Hardline House Republicans already say they don't want to compromise. New obstacles mean the bumpy path to a deal might be at a dead end. Better saying, hey, to protect President Trump, we need to make sure we don't vote on this. Polls show immigration is the top issue for GOP voters. Now a border bill might not be possible this year. It could take even longer if Republicans don't win total control of the government and still won't compromise. That is, unless Democrats meet all their demands. In Texas, Governor Greg Abbott says he's fed up. He's ordering further deployment of razor wire along parts of the Rio Grande, as despite a Supreme Court ruling that lets border control take it down. Abbott cites a constitutional right to rally troops during invasions. It's not the kind of invasion that they were thinking of in 1787. I'm Amy Kiley reporting.